Hey and welcome back to Peter Ford Magic. Today is tutorial day. I'm going to be taking you through the SpongeBob trick that was in the performance, the 7 Up Cat trick, and a unique card trick to this channel I put together myself. If you haven't seen the performance yet, I'll put a link in the description below and above and have a watch of the performance and then come back and then you can see the tutorial. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so the tutorial for the sponge ball trick that I performed. Uh, this is just a basic introduction uh, to the sponge balls. Uh, and a lot of what the sponge ball tricks are based on is, is misdirection, uh, which I did in the first trick. So basically what you need to do is, the one that I did is just covering up the balls. Um, and then everyone's not really looking at what's happening. So what you need to do is when you go to place it in your, from your right hand to your left hand, um just it's just a motion um like any sort of coin drop uh it's, it's the same principle so you're going to put it in there um as it gets to the base of the palm you, you're going to bring it back as i say with a, most of this is more misdirection um, and then you will magically have a ball jump from one hand to another so I'll just take it one more time so it's one two three four place it in, pick up the second ball, and then it jumps over. There you go. Okay, for the bottle cap jumping trick, uh, I did it with seven up caps. Uh, you can do it with coins, caps, bottle caps, anything you want really to jump from one hand to another. Real basic little trick, but uh, we'll catch people out, uh, a bit of fun. So what you need to do is grab some sellotape, uh, just rip this little piece off, and you're going to place this uh, just in the ball of your left hand. Uh, you could use blue tag or anything sticky, but I'm going to use sellotape. Now you need two, obviously. Now the second one, the second object, you're going to palm just in the base of your right hand. Uh, try to keep it as natural as possible, uh, like your left hand. So you've got the second one in here. Now you're going to place down the, the object on the left. Uh, with the sellotape, obviously you're going to put it straight down on top. Try not to be too obvious with the right hand that you're dropping it. Try to be as natural as possible. So when you place it over, um, it's going to stick down and then you release one and then it jumps over. So there you go. You can use that concept however you like, jumping uh, multiple bottle caps or jumping one side to the other of a bar. But, um, and then you can bring your hand down to the side, uh, make, make the drop and then there you are, you're back with one. Okay. Okay, so for the card trick uh, tutorial, what you need to do is a little setup. And the setup is as follows. You get the two aces out of the pack and you place them uh, face to face. And then you get the two and you, and you place it on top. Okay. Now, what I did in the, in the performance is I started it off with face to face and the two on top like this. And you can place them all on top of the deck. Right, so you have two aces face to face and then the two. Now you can do a couple of fake cuts, a couple of fake shuffles uh, like I did. Uh, and I'll go through these in more detail uh, on, a, on a separate video about cuts and retaining cards. Uh, a basic one you can do is a swing cut and then bring it all the way back around. So you're retaining the top half of the deck. So you just literally do a swing cut and then place the cards all the way around. And at pace, you're going all the way around like this. The one I did was three. Uh, if you take a cut nearer the top, and then with your right hand, you can do another cut and then place them like this. But you're, you're still retaining the top three cards. If you don't want to do the cut, you can go straight into the trick. Um, and just make sure you've got the ace as follows like this. Next part you need to do is you, you need to slowly pull off the top card. Okay, you don't want to fan it out because you can see the ace. So you can just, I would, what I did in the trick was just, just pull off the two. When you've got the two, when you're showing the two, this is when you want to do um, the double left. So you want to take two. Now the way I normally do it, you can just, you can just count up two and put a little pinky break in underneath the top two cards. Okay, so it's quite straightforward. You can't, you don't really want to pull off because uh, you'll see the second ace. So the, what I would suggest is it's just to count up to and then put the pinky break in there. Um, when you're making the gesture, 
of the two, the two's on top with the cover. Uh, you can you can just bring out the two cards and place the pinky brake underneath the top two. Next thing you need to do is place the two on top. Now you are ready to do the trick. Okay, so you've actually got three cards here under the pinky brake. Now this motion, I think it's called the painting brush. So you, what you need to do is just paint and brush uh, with this motion of the two. Now when you get to this point, you're going to release one and then you're going to come back down. So it looks like a two has magically appeared into two aces. It's a great trick if you're playing poker with your friends and you just want to uh, uh, do a little bit of magic at the table. Now they may want to not want to play poker with you after that, but uh, uh, it's a good little trick. So I'll do it one more time. So you've got the two aces together. Um, peel off the two, do the gesture, count up two cards, put the pinky break in, put the two on the top, and then you want to just paint the cards with the brush. And as you get to here, you release, and then you come back, just like that. And then you've got the two twos. Great little trick there. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial there. Got lots more performances and tutorials coming up on the channel. Lots more things that you're going to enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't done already and click the bell so you know when uh, I'm uploading the next video. Please subscribe, like, and all those things. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.